In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a basic facing operation on a lathe. To start off with, I have already secured my workpiece and dialed it in with the indicator. To begin the facing operation, I have lined up the cutting tool at the corner of the workpiece. I am going to move it in until it touches on the face. And then I'm going to back out the cross slide. And I'm going to move the carriage over just a tiny bit to start off with. This isn't perpendicular since uh, this is my first cut. So I'm going to do a quick cut. I'm going to turn the lathe on and move the cross slide in all the way to the center. Then I am going to turn the lathe off and back the cross slide back. Now that I've done my very first rough cut, I'm going to do another rough cut because this is very crooked on the surface. So I'm going to move the carriage over a little bit. And I'm going to add some lubrication to the face of the workpiece. If it's very crooked like this, be very careful on how deep your cuts are going because it's putting a lot of shock into your your tool and lathe in general. So I'm just going to take it easy and do it over the course of a few passes. I still have a bit of a depression right here, so I need to go even deeper to get a completely straight surface. So I'm going to do one more pass. It doesn't need to be nearly as deep as the one I just did. So I'm going to move it in until it touches the face. I'm touching it right now, so I'm going to back the cross slide out. I'm just going to move the carriage over a tiny bit. So this will be a quick, shallow cut. I'm going to apply lubrication to the face. Looks like I still need to go a little bit more since I see a little bit of roughness right here on the bottom. And I have a completely smooth surface. I can see that the tool has touched the entire diameter going across and it is a very good finish. That is how you do basic facing on a workpiece when using a lathe. For reference, this is aluminum, so this is very easy to machine. If this video is helpful, please like and subscribe for more helpful do-it-yourself and how-to videos.